here for another video. Thank you very much. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share my channel, not my video, okay? Let's get up on the cuff, the couch, chat, and let's talk, okay? We just talking about nail videos. I ain't talking about nails. Okay. Anyway. Today's video, we are gonna go over the wrap nails. I know we've seen a million videos at this point, um, but you ain't seen mine. So, we're gonna go over what I did when I was creating my wrap nails. So, we're gonna start off how we start off on every video my prep process. Um, I didn't have any nails on previous to this, so it was very easy to dive in, push back the epinicium, remove the cuticles, dehydrate, prime twice, and then you're ready to go. Um, so what I do when I'm priming, when I'm starting off, is I show you in this video, and it helps like with my clients as well, because clients are hard-headed. I mean, I was a client, I was hard-headed, I didn't pay attention. Um, once you put that primer on, nothing else needs to touch it. But clients love to touch their phone, they love to move around, accidentally touch their hair, and everything just gets mixed up. So what I do now is I prime all the fingers for the first go, only on that one hand that I'm working on, so they are not moving that hand at all. And then I'll go ahead and prime these two fingers again for their second coat, and then I'll put the forms on, just these two fingers. So it's basically I'm doing two fingers at a time to prevent them from messing up, <laughs> okay? And then as you see to the side, I will prep all of the uh, nail forms that I'm going to use for that entire hand ahead of time. So like once I do those first two, I prep the other five as well. So if I need to like put a piece, cause the nail's short, I need to put a little bit of the um, sticker to remove and put it underneath um, so that a little bit sticks out so that it can cover that gap that is right here because no nail form is made perfectly to your finger ever unless you just have like perfect fucking apple. unless you just have like perfect fingers that are perfectly made for perfect nail forms which i don't i don't know a soul that does every time like even if your finger is sometimes a little raggedy you need you need a little adjustment so yeah i have those to the side and so you'll see me do the first two fingers, like completely, well, pretty much completely do the first two fingers. So with my wrap nails, I started off with a clear, uh, small layer of the clear uh, acrylic to put down. And after I do the clear acrylic, then that's when I start adding in the other processes. You don't have to worry about the stickiness undoing themselves um which is i still have the other green nail forms that you see me use in a couple of other videos but i had recently purchased a whole bunch of new yn stuff so i was like well why not and again i'm doing super duper thin because we're gonna also do that the wrap method right after um and so you don't want a chunk of like nail there because then it's not going to give the look it's going to be too bulky you have to shave down to the point where you don't even see like the effect anymore So I took out a piece of plastic ahead of time. Um, I just used regular plastic wrap from my kitchen. Um, I'm sure there's maybe there's some other stuff you could use, but plastic wrap works just fine. Um, uh, what I do is, hey Fred. Come look at Fred guys. This is my puppy. Yes, he's a puppy. He's like seven or eight months now. Oh, you got that bone, you stink. Now we are laying down the um, 
the gel i just use i got it from sally's ibd yeah i got an ibd from sally's i put that on top um and then i put the plastic there but what i noticed it because it's not a hard gel i would recommend using like a hard gel this was a soft um gel so it set very quickly um it consistently was like trying to flatten and level itself out so what i did notice is what i would do is put the wrap on um kind of do the little smushes and literally you're smushing it and making it completely random take your finger press it pinch it whatever um and then put it in the light for like two seconds just like two like literally two seconds doing that just enough and then you can you're still able to manipulate it and it's it pretty much stays so then i would take it out by the time even with those two seconds it had self leveled out a little bit so take it back out um and kind of pinch 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 put it back in and then i would get all of the ridges and the crevices that i actually wanted so i do that through all five fingers um, and then I decided that I had seen a video where they did it with chrome, where they did like a pigmented chrome, um, which probably would have been better off. This looked very, very icy, feel a little whimsical, and I feel like you couldn't actually see all of the chrome that I use. So you see, I'm using like this, like it kind of looks black, but it's ch chameleon. Yeah, I think that's what it is. It's a chameleon. Um, what is this thing called? Yeah, it's a chameleon, one of those. And then I also used one that was kind of like a halo type of deal. Cause I wanted it to get like a snowy globy effect. And you can kind of see it when I do that up and close and personal one. Um, but like once I top coat it and I put the, um, I can't think of words right now. Once I top coated it or before I even top coated it, but once I um, encapsulated it, it just, it kind of went away like especially the chameleon colors i really wanted to show and if i was to do this again i would just use the chameleon and use that all over instead of just small specks because i was kind of worried that the color would take over the whole style and i didn't want that um and then with the gel it was already tacky after it dried especially this particular gel it was already tacky so i didn't have to put a top coat on or do anything like that and just easily put the chrome on top of it. Like I am also known for never doing the same shape on all 10 fingers. I will just like start to build a nail and just change the shape as I go. Like I'll have in mind like, oh, I'm gonna do a full stiletto set. And then before I know it, I have a lipstick nail, a stiletto nail, a square nail, a coffin nail. <laughs> it just, I don't know. I'm not one for the norm. Especially on my own nails, I feel like I need to show people what I can do. So I'm consistently doing different things on myself that the average person, of course, wouldn't get. But because I'm a nail tech, I can I can run away with it. Like it's not gonna matter for me. So now we're encapsulating the nail, and I try to do this with just one bead, but sometimes I end up having to do it with a couple, which I mean is perfectly fine. Especially in this case, because of the ridges, I wanted to make sure that not only I cover those ridges, I kind of put like extra acrylic on top of it because I know that when I go to file with my e-file I'm going to shave down and just in case you know I shave down too much I won't go into the ridges. completed the overlay then we go into just a, like always just refiling the nails reshaping them when I was reshaping is our final shaping um we're just making sure that the uh, cuticles are nice and tight and the shape is the shape that we want we want to make sure that stiletto can poke a bitch eye out you know what I'm saying that's that's what I go for you know so yes um, and then after we're done filing, the next step is top coat. 
And with these nails, it's done because it's a wrap. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Thank you guys for tuning in again and taking a stroll down the avenue with me. I can't wait to see you guys in my next video. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share my channel, not my video, okay? Thank y'all. Bye. Thank you. Thank you.